M0FXB, welcome to my channel. Quick link here for the CPS or programming software, which is here. It's the one, two, three, fourth one down. If you've got the MD380 70 centimeter single band radio, have a look. And uh, we've also got TYT tools here. If your version of firmware is before 1.4, then this will work, the, the TYT will work on your radio. But here's a link for the programming software, which looks like this. Let's find it. There you go, that's your programming software, and we'll do a separate video programming the radio. Bye for now. Okay, so we've got TYT tools on our radio, it's all working fine. We've just loaded up the, the database with all the contacts. What we haven't done is actually programmed any channels, so we're going to do some just program two channels just so I can test the radio. So, start off with general settings. We need to get my call sign in now, which is M0FXB, DMR number. Two, three, four, one, four, three, seven. Everything else I think we'll leave okay on that page for now. Uh, there might be some other alterized alter things to alter. <laughs> uh, right, let's just do a channel first. A channel information. Uh, let's add about we'll right click and add a few channels. The first channel, I'm just going to do my analog all star node, which is four, three, four dot five five zero so see what i've done i've selected analog here i double click the channel analog put the frequency in you don't use shifts here so oh that's the channel names so i should have put hubnet there hubnet that's my all-star node then the frequency underneath the receive four three four dot five five zero transmit is simplex so four three four dot five five zero so that's beneath we need to give it a decent time out. Power, we'll just keep it low, I think, because we're in the house. Uh, time out, Where's, there it is, there. it's at 60 at the moment, see it? We want it definitely higher than that, at least 180. Analog, we need to set our tone down here, it's just a transmit tone of 77. I think that's our analog channel created, and we'll even create a zone, so stick it here where it says zone. We'll rename the, that zone. We'll call that one my my hot. We'll just call it hot spots. Actually, the first one, hot spot. Okay, for now, now rename it. Then we'll add another. Zones are groups of channels, so we'll add another zone. And in that zone, we double clicked it. We're going to call it Hubnet. Because I've got I'm, Hubnet basically, because we've got more than one All Star node. And we've got that in there, and then we need to put the channel we just created in there. So we'll just double click Hubnet, and we'll click here on the left. That's all the channels you've programmed so far, and I've only programmed one. There's one there by default. We'll just add it across. That's fine. So that's now in there. Now we're just going to create our hotspot channel. So we click here, see where it says channels, double click the empty one. Channel 2 here, rename channel 2 to hotspot, like so, and then we'll frequency of my hotspot, which is simplex, is 431.550. Again, 431.550. Now we need to create what they call, we haven't finished this channel yet, but we do need to create a contact for it. We've just selected digital at the top there as well for now. Uh, we're going to select color code 1 and repeat a slot two, but we need to create, we're not going to worry with group lists at the moment, but we do need a contact. At the moment, there's only one contact in there. A contact is the talk group that it's going to talk to when you transmit. So you go up here, see here, digital contacts. That could be hundreds, and that's basically going to be um, what I connect to. So let's double click that, and we'll call the first one uh, local, which is nine. It just means I can use my open spot easily so we'll just call it number nine the number is more important than the name because the number is like a phone number you've got your dmr number they've got their dmr number all the talk groups have got numbers it's all like phone numbers all linking to each other so the next one we're going to call worldwide so just w double as a group call as well group call means it's like a chat room it's not just person to person if you put private like for example we could use disconnect as a private number because it's only disconnecting you from your hot from your room so you can call that a private yeah and that number is actually four thousand and even testing if we add another channel for testing we call it parrot don't we 
and power it on, hot, on a hotspot is 9990, but you can do a private, so it doesn't affect the talk group. So we go 9990, and then add again. So we've done worldwide, local, disconnect and connect. That's probably enough, I think, for now. And, you know, like Hubnet, for example, is 23526, but that's DMR. So I could go Hubnet D, D. That would be a group call, because we're going into like almost like a chat room. And their number is uh, 23526. There's a DMR link that someone has made. And uh, that's a group call. So I think that's enough. So now go back to our hotspot. We, we know we've got the channel in there. Let's make sure. Hotspot, we need to go click the channel we created for hotspot. Click add. It sends it into our zone. That's a bucket of channels. We'll take out our hotspot. Or oh, actually, I might leave it in there. And then at least I can turn to it when I want to. So why not? But generally, you, you would keep your separate zone separate. You could go right click, add another zone. And for example, you could call that zone... Uh, repeaters, yeah, repeaters, we'll put a D at the front, so it's like digital repeaters, then you've got another zone, you could put all your digital repeaters in there, you could have another one, call it add, you could call it simplex, get the idea, you're creating groups, and then you're, after that you're creating channels, so if we go back to our digital channel, we only created one, because we're using the hotspot for everything, hotspot, we're just going to go, where is it? We did the frequency, digital. We still want a high timeout, at least 180. Otherwise, it will run, you know, it'll cut you off halfway through speaking. Frequencies, color code one. Color code is basically CTCSS, but for DMR. S slot is cutting the channel in half. You have slot one and two. Nearly always it's two. I notice a lot of repeaters are on color code three. And then we want the contact that we created. Look, they all appear now. And the, for, for, we'll do, we'll, cut, we'll, we'll put that one as worldwide. And I think we'll add another one, another channel for parrot testing. So number three is a spare channel here. We'll double click it. Uh, we'll see if we can copy and paste. So we'll go copy. So right cl click, it goes blue. Right click, copy. Then go over the channel. Click on it, blue. Right click, paste. Everything's in there apart from you just need to name it. So we'll call it Parrot. Parrot, and then we're going to select the Parrot talk group that we put it. So when it keys, the Parrot talk group is 9990, and it will connect us to that room. So now let's start saving. Now we're going to need to call this, because uh, I've got a lot of MD380 stuff on this computer. M, uh, MD380, and I'm going to call it 70 for 70 SEMs. Okay, and then we're going to save it somewhere we can find it. So you go desktop. Put it on my desktop for now. Might have an MD380. We could create a new folder. I'm going to call it MD380 70 sems. Okay. And then we're going to click like so. And then save okay so at least we've saved it we don't want to lose all that work we've just done then we're going to write to the radio write to data to radio click ok you can see the radio in the background and um, then we'll add some more video after this to show you the radio actually working let's get it all in there so see you at the radio Quickly show you the radio, there's a lot more information on the screen now, straight away, you can understand exactly where you are, what you're connected to, this is with, you know, TYT tools, and then we can change zone, go menu, zone, choose, you know, we just made those zones, if we choose hubnet, there's hubnet, now we'll try and DTMF in, see, because if I press it now, just turn it to the right channel, if I press it now, look, you've got your tone there and everything, if I press it and start, and start dialing, That's your DTMF, and we're in. H -U -B. Let's turn that down, just go menu, and then utilities. If you look at the TYT menu, look, the MD t tool, we'll just, uh, while it's someone's talking, you can't look at the menu, so one second. So now we can just quickly look at the menu, utilities. Roger Beat, boot options, date format, show calls, TG display, promiscuous mode, 
let's enable it. These are all functions that you don't have on the uh, normal MD380. Edit the MRID, mic bar graph, pretty cool. Horizontal sounds good to me. Uh, let's keep going, mic gain, audio level settings, side buttons, you can pre-program them easily, config reset, backlight, let's keep it low, I don't want it off, let's, let's leave that for now, Morse output, I'm not sure what that does, COP override, is that the screen? Call sign and DMR ID. Oh, I see. Okay, we'd have to work out what copy is. But is that is that basically is that talk alias? We'll we'll test that as well. But all these functions, and you can do a private call there as well. Let's quickly get to the bottom. We'll do a better video on this. But I'm just literally just done it now. So, thanks for watching. And let's quickly turn to my hotspot, go menu, zone, hotspot, and we should, in theory, if we turn to the right channel, there's my hotspot. Now we're not getting any, any data there, so I'm not sure if it did the database. Remember we had that override thing, didn't we? So we'll just quickly turn that on. Utilities. That, I think that was Talker Alias, that thing was. Go to the tools. What do you do with the 9 April? This is Zoot Sierra, 16 years. It's definitely working. There it is. And we're gonna, just going to go course sign in DMR ID. No, course sign in name, why not? Nice. Zulu Sugar 6, India Mike Mike. Whiskey Julian Mike. Uh, good morning from India. So more tests to come. Bye for now, 7-3.